Welcome back to day 36 of the Dry Fire Journal. Today, uh, I'm gonna try something pretty spicy. So, just so you know what we've got, clear firearm, clear magazine with a, a laser cartridge. And you'll notice that as I hit this, I'm not, not gonna get close to this dot, but you'll see this red dot. For every trigger press that you hear, I'm gonna try at a distance of about three feet to draw and hit this with my laser cartridge. Why am I trying this? It's the idea of can I draw to a fine point in space because this is really what we are doing at distance when we're trying to hit targets, when we're trying to fine tune something on a target at seven yards. Um, what we can hit very small, really quickly, I believe translates into what we can hit anatomically significantly with a incredible amount of speed. And I think we can all understand why that might be important. So I'm stepping back here. I don't know if you can see my hand or not, but I am roughly about three feet or so from the uh, smallest dot on target. And I think I just hit a little bit left, but now I'm going to draw and fire my shot and see how tight I can get on that space while trying to draw relatively quickly and seeing something rather small. It takes a second for me to see. It takes a second for me to see. And I'm wondering if you're going to try this because I believe that you kind of have to film yourself and film your target to see how this works out on the draw. Oh, it's taken me forever to see that small of a target. So, if I take this information and now attempt only in Laser Academy, not in Live Fire, but to replicate what I believe is a reproducible but quick speed of draw to first shot and try to punch this with my laser, can I get there? It would work something like this. I went just a little bit high. A little closer. Man, that dot drew a line on that piece of paper. Nope, that sh I shanked that by a mile. Missed that by a ways. So why is this good learning? Ah, it shows me the distance between where I am now and where I want to be. Because this is a remarkable tool because in dry fire, we get to discover here's where I am as a shooter and here's where I want to be as a shooter and discovering that gap and taking small gains toward that gives me a chance to grow. I believe it's really important that we try to get 1% better every day and try to combine that uh, with another day and another day and another day. So I'm trying something really stinking ridiculous with a, a, a laser uh, cartridge that may or may not be as accurate as I would think it would be. Um, I'm using an iron sided, uh, very compact 365 XL. Um, can I get that out at speed and see what I need to see in order to hit a precise shot at speed? Now, I'm totally willing to not be good at this yet. And I'm wondering if you're willing to totally not be good at this yet, but just find out where you're at, find out where you are and figure out what you want to work on next. And then put in that work, get 1% better tonight, 1% better tomorrow, 
and just see what happens. So give us a whirl. I'll see you tomorrow.